So number three on page two has this triangle, 4, 8, 11.4. So 11.4 is going to be your C. Um, so put that over here. Then you're going to do 4 squared plus 8 squared equals 11.4 squared. When you do 4 squared plus 8 squared, square them and add together, you get 80. 11.4 squared is 129.96. So since 80 is less than 129.96, so adding them together is less than the C squared, it's an obtuse triangle. All right, so the second part of page two, we have example two. What they want you to do is they gave you some numbers, and they want you to tell them if it is a triangle first, and then what type of triangle it is, okay? So the way to tell if something's a triangle when you have three numbers is you use the triangle inequality theorem. Okay, so what that basically says is if you add the two smallest numbers together, okay, so add those together. So in this one we're doing 58 plus 69, you get 127. When you add them together, they should be bigger than the third side. So 127 is bigger than 80, so that means this is a triangle. If it was equal or less than, it wouldn't be a triangle. Okay, so now step two is you're going to classify it. So we're going to be doing what we did over here. So you're going to do 58 squared plus 69 squared. When you do that, you get 8,125. You're going to take the biggest side and square it. So 80 squared is 6,400. So since 8,125 is bigger than 6,400, this is bigger than the C squared. It's an acute triangle. Okay, so on part B is the same thing. You're going to take the two smaller numbers, so 11 and 30. We're going to add them together and you get 41, which is bigger than 39. So this is a triangle. So we're going to do 11 squared plus 30 squared. When we do that and add them together, you get 1,021. When you do 39 squared, you get 1,521. So since the C squared was bigger, it's going to be an obtuse triangle. 